This is the IKEA Linmon Computer Desk Tabletop. It's lightweight, it's sturdy, and it's incredibly cheap. But have you ever wondered about the engineering behind the IKEA Linmon table? Well, let's tear one apart and look inside. Hi, I'm David, and this is what's inside an IKEA Linmon Desk Tabletop. One of the most important things I look at when I'm shopping at IKEA are the materials used in the furniture's construction. For something as simple as a tabletop for your desk, there are actually quite the spectrum of options, each with their own advantages and disadvantages, from the expensive solid wood tops to the inexpensive paper-filled tops like the Linmon. But let's cut this Linmon open to get an idea what's going on inside the construction. Cutting the top in half, you get a better look at the materials used inside. There's a wood veneer that covers all the edges, and then filling inside, you have this thin paper material that's glued in place and held in a honeycomb pattern. And cutting away more, the veneer shows the particle board frame that supports the edges of the desk where you would typically mount the legs. So for this smaller 120cm Linmon top, it basically looks like this inside. So why is the material design of these tabletops made of this honeycomb paper fill? Well, first and foremost, it makes it cheaper. Less wood means the material cost is significantly reduced. Less wood also makes the top significantly lighter than the solid wood counterparts, and there's also the environmental benefit of using less wood. But there are some downsides to the paper fill solution. While the honeycomb paper fill cell structure is still extremely strong in terms of compression strength, resistance to bending and punctures isn't as good as the solid wood counterparts. So while the average computer user won't really have much to worry about, with heavier loads like using a large monitor on an arm, you can start to see dents or cracks develop in the wood veneer as you stress it, and they're more likely to sag in the middle, so an extra leg on the longer tops is strongly recommended. So overall, should these honeycomb paper filled tables be avoided? Like I said before, these solutions have their benefit, and at their price point, you're still getting a lot for the money, so it's still a great solution for most people. Or if you're really looking for a more rigid and durable solution, IKEA also offers particle board or solid wood options that are quite a bit more expensive, but can be worth it in the long run. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one, you know what to do, and I'll see you in the next video.